ENI is the new uh, European instrument uh, for the cooperation with the neighborhood uh, for the period 2014-2020. What are the priorities and what is new? Well, there is a m better focus on uh, those countries and on supporting action in those countries who want to have a closer relationship with the European Union. Um, we uh, revamped neighborhood policy already in 2011. We created uh, things like the Spring Program and EPIC uh, in order to support those countries more who make advances in the direction of more democracy and better respect of human rights. All this is now enshrined in the new regulation. So in a way, things that we have developed over the past two or three years in response to developments both in the South and the East are now part and parcel of the new system. There's more differentiation between the countries, there's more support for civil society, and there is a, uh, let's say, a, a programming system which really gives life to the more for more principle, giving more to those who want to come closer to Europe, who reform, uh, without really uh, giving less to those countries who, let's say, follow, follow a different path. But there is a focus on those countries who really implement the neighborhood agenda. The principle of the more for more, which uh, would be applied and which, it, which is already applied to uh, the, the instrument of the cooperation, uh, how can you explain it concretely? More for more means that those countries who are living up to the commitments that they have taken themselves and the neighborhood action plans get more support from the European Union, including more financial support. Now, the new regulation foresees two mechanisms for that. On the one hand, uh, we operate with uh, not just an individual amount that a country will get, but there can be a range of amounts. And if the country lives up to their, its commitments, we go to the higher range of the financial assistance um, that would be possible. And at the same time, we have the so-called umbrella program, 10% of the overall allocation which will only be awarded to countries that make progress in their democratic agenda, that make progress in their respect of human rights. Um, so uh, there may be two or three or four countries, depending on each year, so to say, that uh, are found to be uh, uh, advancing on this agenda. This will be established in the neighborhood action, uh, in the neighborhood uh, progress reports that are published every year. And on that basis, we are going to allocate 10% of the overall budget.